Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Running on Empty Beginners Pokemon League. This is your host, Ruta Patootie. This is week six. I'm going to be fighting against that, that dude. That dude, GP. I had it pulled up this time, so I had no mistakes. No reason to have a mistake. This is my team. Using the same team as I've been using. I love this team. And also, I haven't been playing a lot of competitive. I've been playing a lot of uh, Versus and Nuzlocks and stuff like that. So I haven't even had a chance to try to do this team. Now, one thing I will say, as I am recording this video, I forgot I had to. I forgot I had this match scheduled with that dude, and I did not want to reschedule. I hate rescheduling, but I have another video rendering on my computer. Now, I hope that that does not ruin ruin this recording. I also hope it doesn't ruin the render, like it doesn't crash the render after restart it. If one thing were to crash, I would rather the render crash, though, because if the render crashes, I can I can restart it. If this battle crashes, then I cannot I cannot redo it. So hopefully we'll be good. If there's any stairs or anything like that, that's why. But I'm going to go ahead and hop right into the battle with that dude GP right now. We have found GP. It is now time to battle. I'll decide myself. That dude GP is typing right now. He said, good luck. I'm gonna hit him with the good luck. Have fun, my man. Good G L H F. Oh, that autocorrected to four. Good G L H F. Good luck. Have fun. I don't know where that autocorrected. Let's go ahead. We're gonna pick our squadron here. This is the squad we're going in with. What did I say? This is week six. Do my record, I believe, is finally a winning record. Especially because one of our players. Who was it? Crap. I can't remember off the top of my head. One of our players dropped out, so he became a bye week. Um, let's see here. Okay. Oh, crap. So he could do Winsmacott Justified on Arcanine. He could do Trick Room with Winsmacott and then the Ndidi. Oh, wait. That's a male Ndidi. Is that a male Ndidi? Because don't the horns have to go down for it to be the female one that's like the good one? But doesn't that thing have some kind of terrain? I'm going to bring my Winsmacott, because if he has, like, the Misty terrain, then my Grimmsnarl becomes useless, because I have Prankster. Although I would love, oh, man, I would love to bring Grimmsnarl right now. But I just cannot afford, because I can't Thunder Wave. Well, I guess I can still Barriers, like Screens, I meant. Maybe a Grimmsnarl Draco Vish to start, because what does he have to stop that? Nothing. Actually, yeah, we're going to do that. Even if I don't get Paralyzes off, I can still get Screens up. And then we'll Dragapult's in the back, Steward in the back, and then I'm thinking Rotom Heat in the back as well. Mm. My Jericho Fish is the one I have with the ground move for that Duraludon. I'm gonna hunt. I'm gonna Corviknight in the back. I'm gonna Corviknight in the back. I'm gonna Corviknight. But a Corviknight, because he's a beefy boy, I can bulk up if I even need to get that far. I just really hope he doesn't bring this DD, or if it, if this DD, I hope it doesn't have a Misty Terrain or whatever. I don't know how the male DD works. I know everyone uses the female one. I gotta previously check, make sure recording's still going, render still going. Duraludon and Grimstar. Okay, okay. So far, so good. I have a feeling he's gonna go Thunder Wave on my Draco Vish though, which I do not like. Regardless, I am gonna go. Thunder Wave is 90 accuracy, right? Yeah. I'm going to Thunder Wave this Duraludon. Make sure I outspeed it. And then hit him with a Vicious Rent. Or do I mix it up and go with just the Bulldoze? Nah. Because a Vicious Rent, if I go first, I'm going to... Why would I even think of that? Nah. Vicious Rent is the way to go. Beastie Boy, Thunder Wave connects. Let's go. Everything recorded. I got to make sure. Let's go. Okay. Come on, baby. Grimstar use Reflect. Good call. He's probably going to live this now because it's not very effective and he has the Reflect up. But I'm going to get big damage here, and he's going to get full parried. Oh my goodness, he way lives that. Oh, and he Dragon Pulse. No! Oh. 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 Okay. I have to go into Stewart here. I can't go into Hunter because he'll just Thunderbolt me. So I'm going to light screen with Grimmsnarl here. But see, even he could play rough me or Dragon Pulse me here. We're going to go for the Corviknight play and hope that he's choice specced. 
and cannot use Thunderbolt. That's the play. Is he choice spec for knocking me out like that? We're going to light screen regardless. Here's what we're going to do. This is going to be a clutch or kick play. I'm either going to clutch up super hard right here, or I'm going to get kicked. I'm going to lose. I'm going to, I'm going to, oh, watch this play. Wait. What I was going to do is thunder way our light screen and then bulk up. I don't know if I have to bulk up. Because if I just iron head the Grim Snarl, well, the Grim Snarl's not a problem. I'm going to bulk up. I'm going to do it. Guys, I'm going to freaking do it. I'm going to do it. This is the clutch or kick play. This We got to play the risky plays. The ri okay, the render's still going. I thought I froze. Okay, guys, this is the risky plays. Yes! Okay, no Thunderbolt coming. I definitely think he was choice. Here comes the RK9. That is going to freaking have Intimidate, but I have Mirror Armor. Let's go, dude. I hope you have Intimidate, dog. Bring Intimidate out. Here we go. Bulk up in their face. Bring that Intimidate. Oh, wait, he didn't have Intimidate. So he must have Justified. Darkest Lariat. What is that? Is that going to hurt? That hurts more than I thought it was, especially... Oh, my, my screen, my webcam started to shake a little bit there. Okay, we're good. This time we're going to Reflect, of course. Now, he's probably going to go for a Will-O-Wisp on this Arcanine, right? So do we... Do we want to Steel Spike the Grim Snarl or Airstream the RK9. I think we want to airstream the RK9. Right? I want to get the reflect up. But I also want to thunder wave the RK9. Oh. What do I do here? Do I thunder wave the RK9? Or do I I think I go for the reflect, the guaranteed save, right? I got to do that. I have to do that. And then we max airstream into the RK9. Give ourselves a speed boost. Make sure we go first every single time. Next round, assuming our Grimmsnarl survives here, which he should. I don't think he's going to be going for Grimmsnarl at all. Uh-oh, I just got a encoding overloaded. Consider turning down video settings or using a faster encoding process, which means my OBS is struggling. <laughs> Guys, right here in the video, my OBS did finally crash. So all the rest of the audio from myself is cut out. Maybe even on the gameplay it might be cut out too. I'm not entirely sure. But I'm just going to do a live commentary over the rest of this. So right here, got the the Hunter getting hit with, a, what was that, Flare Blitz. And uh, now Hunter's going for the Max Airstream here. So we're going to get uh, the extra speed boost. Nelly is going to live that turn, which hurts. Beastie Boy's speed gets raised. Hunter's speed will get raised. Grimstone is using the darkest lariat, which is bringing me down hardcore. It hurts a lot. How do I make this guarantee that this is not going to mess up again? I want suck, dude. I want suck. So right here, I'm thinking, I'm trying to remember like what I was thinking at this point. I was trying to think if I want to, oh crap. Did I already set up a reflect at this point? Guys, if I didn't set up reflect, I, already, I hit reflect right here. We'll see that. I'm pretty sure I already set up reflect. I'm pretty sure I set up reflect on turn one. Yeah, I did. I did set up reflect on turn one. Because right here, I'm thinking... Do I want to go for the playground or do I want to go to the, for the Thunder Wave on the Arcanine? Guess what, guys? I'm going to click Thunder Wave on the Arcanine. The reason being, I want to guarantee he goes slow. And then watch this IQ play right here. Look at what I'm hovering over, guys. I'm hovering over Max Guard. What my train of thought is, is if I Max Guard here, they both doubled up in the Corviknight slot. They need Corviknight to go down. He's my Dynamax uh, Mon. RK9 super effective against him. So if I max guard on Corviknight and then I Thunder Wave the RK9, the next turn I will guarantee go first. I wasn't sure if a max airstream was going to be enough to put my Corviknight ahead of RK9 if, in court, according to speed because, you know, Corviknight's a slow boy. So right there, Grimmsnarl. Now this is the moment where I go, whoa, Grimmsnarl this huge trick on me. He's trying to take away my leftovers. I need leftovers. So hard leftovers is coming in clutch, especially while you're Dynamax. Gives you that big HP that you need. Keep you alive. Now, Grimmsnarl is 100% paralyzed. I will guarantee go before him. So now, my train of thought. I'm just going to go for the play rough into the Grimmsnarl. I believe right here is what I do because I can't Thunder Wave it. I already have both screens. So I definitely Grimmsnarl. Definitely play rough into the Grimmsnarl. And then, now do I... I yeah, I, I believe I go for the Max Airstream because Max Steel Spike isn't, you know, is going to be good if I Max Airstream. I'm giving myself another speed boost. So that is the plan. But, uh, you know, in, at this moment, I was talking about it. And then, so the Grimstone goes for a trick again. And look at this item. Switched item. 
gave me the eject button guys you know how terrifying it is to receive an eject button while you're dynamaxed not cool dude not cool at all so right here go for the max air stream knocked out the rk9 so now even though i have the eject button that rk9 was trying to hit me i outspeed it now so i don't have to worry about that eject button coming into play i play rough lands does a little bit over 50 percent which is what i like to see unfortunately though once again he took my leftovers you don't like to see that. My leftovers coming in. Now, who does he have? He has the Rile down in the back, and I don't know who's fourth mana is. Actually, I do, because I already played the match. But you guys don't. Here comes Gigglebush, a.k.a. Shiny Winsmacott, on the field, boys. I'm out of Dynamax. He still has Dynamax, which is scary. And we all know what Winsmacott does. Winsmacott either sets up Trick Room or Tailwind. There's pretty much no in between here. So now, I have to decide what I'm going to do. What do I do? Of course, I Thunder Wave... The Winsmacott, that's what you do, you thunder wave the Winsmacott, because if I have a chance of outspeeding him because of my max airstream, and I can thunder wave him before he gets his tailwind off, that would be lit, but otherwise, the more things I can paralyze, the better, and I cannot thunder wave the Grimmsnarl, because I cannot prankster onto a dark type mom, so unfortunately, Grimmsnarl is not capable of being thunder wave. so at this point, I'm just going to go for the thunder wave on the Grimmsnarl, and then I'm deciding between... Brave Bird on the Winsmacott or Steel, Steel Iron Head onto the Grimmsnarl. Go for the Brave Bird on the Winsmacott side. He does get his Tailwind off, which is unfortunate. I get my Brave Bird up and, uh, you know, we're big chilling here. Wait a minute. Did I not? I thought I Thunder Waved the Winsmacott. Oh, no, wait. I think I Play Roughed. I Play Roughed the, the Grimmsnarl. Oh, my goodness. I forgot what I did, like five minutes ago well obviously i just told you now what i'm doing for this next turn so here we go grim snarls down communicating what is he gonna pull out for us what major game plan does this man have for us that's all he has left is the the duraladon which has dynamax available so now sneak peek what do i do here i have both my screens up play rough is gonna do much i know that this wins can go down easy but what i do is i thunder wave the wins the reason why i do that is because i have prankster because they have Tailwind. So if I Prankster the Winsmacott, I will guarantee go first. If he goes for an attacking move, I'll guarantee go before him. So I can... I don't have to worry about him outspeeding me with that Tailwind. And two, if they're both paralyzed, I could potentially outspeed them on the... You know, on the Tailwind turn. Because they're both paralyzed. So he goes um, for the obvious play here. Dynamax on the draw. That's what he's got to do. You know, once we got his 1 HP, he's not going to Dynamax that. And now let's see what he does. Let's see what this plays. And things are lagging, dude. Trying to record a whole bunch of stuff every week. It gets tough on the old PC, man. It gets tough on the old PC. So Beastie Boy goes for the Thunder Wave, lands it, which is quite beautiful. Now this one's Makat is, uh, you know, not doing anything. And perfect. Winds Makat is unavailable to move because if he hits my Hunter, which is going for Roost... Then the eject button goes away, or the eject button goes, so my bulk up goes away, my max air streams go away, and I no longer have the roost up. So now he's going to go for the max steel spike on the beastie boy. So there we go. That is one turn of Dynamax. I needed him to not be able to hit my Dragapult, because I have a Dragapult in the back. I needed to make sure he could not max Wormwim my Dragapult. I need him to lose all of his Dynamax turns. So what I go ahead and do... Play rough the ones we got here because they're both paralyzed. Just go for that damage. And then we're deciding between Iron Head and Brave Bird onto the Duraludon. I believe we go with Brave Bird. We have It's 120 damage. Plus we have Stab. I know it's not very effective, but what else am I going to do? Check this out right here. Beastie Boy right there. Grimmsnarl lives on one. Lives on one, guys. Beastie Boy lives on one. You know how clutch this man is he has screens don't really need to paralyze him anymore but now if this was just a 2v2 it's not looking as good but now it's still a 3v2 beastie boy lives on one my eject button comes in stewart's all that's left and what do we do here play rough the ones were caught knock him out of course and then now we have to see does he go for the prediction that he lands and does he max warm women to the dragon pole he does not he goes for the max steel spike on to the corviknight slap Try to get his defense ri risen, which is such a good play because 
He knows that all I have is physical attacks. Dragapult's a physical attacker. But what he does not know is my Dragapult's a special attacker. Every other Dragapult's a physical, physical attacker. Mine is a special attacker right here. I'm checking to see if I still have both my screens up. I do, of course. So the only thing that's logical to do, the only thing I can do is play rough the Duraludon. And now I'm deciding, do I do Fire Blast, Draco Meteor, or Shadow Ball? Fire Blast and Draco Meteor both have a chance of missing. Dra Draco Meteor, if he doesn't knock it out, also lowers my attack and special attack. Shadow Ball is a guarantee hit, but it only does 80 damage. But Shadow Ball stab, Draco Meteor stab, Fire Blast is not. So Fire Blast is pretty much out of it. It's between Draco Meteor and Shadow Ball, and I go for the Draco. You gotta go for it all. You know it's 90 accuracy, could miss, and it lowers my stuff. He lives, unfortunately, here. The only thing I have left to do is does my play rough land, and it freaking does. Dude, if you guys could see my actual webcam, the pop-off that I have of me hitting this Neuralodon is absolutely nasty. I can now pause the replay because that is it. Guys, I won against that dude GP. That puts my final record. Let me check it again. I just updated it. Just going to check it one more time. Make sure everything is very much accurate. Hold up. Let's hit this with the young refresh. Will you let me refresh you? Sorry, looking at my telephone. My record right now after beating that dude GP is 5 and 2. I am 5 and 2 in the league. I am technically number 1 in the league, but also I mean, that Kibbles and Shima and Tig still have another battles for this week. They're the three that are supposed to be ahead of me. So if they win, they probably will. They're all doing very good. They'll be ahead of me again for this week. But I'm 5-2. and two, So if Kibbles wins, he'll be 6-1. and one. He'll be ahead of me. If Shima wins... Wait, Shima, I feel like his thing's messed up because he's 3-3. Three and three. But if Tig wins, he'll be 5-1. and one. I'll be 5-2. and two. So technically, he'll be ahead of me too. And uh, that's that. Thank you guys for stopping by. I'm sorry that the OBS glitched out. Hopefully you didn't do it again. I made a mistake. I forgetting, forgot when I planned to do this this uh, match. Also, I'm rendering a Pokemon X Nuzlocke that's going to already be on the channel by the time you guys see this. I had a, there's a lot of stuff going on. Thank you guys for stopping by, and I'll see you guys later.